Today's spookerific spot, spots continuing is looks at the WWE Zombies as we have a look at the People's Champion, Champion, if you will, the People's Champion, The Rock. The Rock is represented here in zombie form with some nice artwork on the side of Dwayne Johnson. It does look like he has rather dirty hands. Does it look like Rock's maybe been digging some graves? I don't know. But uh, I just found a couple more of the zombie figures. You guys wanted to see more of these, so I thought, you know what? It's the month of Spottober, after all. Let's have a look at more WWE Zombies. The back of the package features a very terrifying look at the People's Champion. Uh, it says, warning, parts may be generated. That's not a read-up on the character, though. That's just a read-up on the toy line. Other figures down below, John Cena, Triple H, Undertaker, Bray Wyatt, Dean Ambrose, Paige, which apparently Paige is still in the WWE, just wellness policy issues are preventing her from coming back, and the very dead Roman Reigns, at least career-wise. Well, he's still WWE, he's a U.S. champion. I think he's fighting Rusev uh, in Hell in the Cell, which may or may not take place uh, before or after this review. It depends on when I can get this review up and about uh, but that is packaging aside. More zombies. Spot's going to take a very terrifying break and get this opened up. Yes, I know Socrates has been here the whole time. I didn't want to acknowledge it because he's still kind of pouty. Uh, but when we come back, though, we're going to get a better look at the WWE zombies, The Rock. Stay tuned. There's more heading your way. Now that we've got him out of the packaging, let's get a better look at... what? What is that odor? What... Socrates, is that you? Was that what is that odor? Oh right. Do you smell that the rock is rotting? Okay, maybe that wasn't the best of jokes. I could have delivered that a little bit better. But let's have a look at the people's champion out of figure or out of package and in hand here. Uh, the figure itself utilizes a lot of the previous released rocks, of course, be it for the fact that he's got a big mangled arm. I don't know what he's been doing, but it looks like he's got his arm stuck in a wood chipper. Ew, a wood chipper. The grotesqueness does not stop there, of course, because he's got a mangled back section. This is why you want to cover your boots. Rock always had the back opened areas of his calves. This is why you don't want to wear those. This is what ha ends up happening to your calf. It's almost like he was inviting zombies to bite your calf. Stay away, zombies. Stay away from Spock's spots. Uh, I'd say rocks, I should say, calves. Okay, so uh, as for his face, let's have a look in there. There we go. There's his face. Uh, despite the fact that he's dead, I have to give credit to the rock. He's still trying so hard to raise that eyebrow. Of course, the other eyebrow is completely gone, ripped right off. Who would eat an eyebrow? But apparently somebody took interest in his eyebrow, or just by decay, it's fallen off. Can an eyebrow fall off for decay? I guess so. But he's got the one predominant people's eyebrow, at least there. Vacant are his eyes as well. The fact that his eyes are just completely blank white. A little bit of the people's brain also sticking out. I guess he's the people's champion. He should have realized afterwards that probably isn't going to help. If you have the masses already as zombies, maybe you don't want to promote yourself that you're the people's champion. You want to be the anti-people champion. Maybe they would stay away from you in all entirety. Uh, the tattoo is also nicely done, which again carries over to the figure. I just kind of wish that these figures were elite. Elite so that they would at least have had the ab crunch and the additional splits on the legs. If you can overcome the fact and overlook the fact that it has very little in the way of posability, at least in those two areas being omitted, the figure does have pretty good posability in the arms, at least in the knee and, and leg area. I just wish, though, that they would have had splits and the ab crunch. Uh, for your articulation on the rock, he does have a ball joint in the head, hinged shoulders, which hinge out very easily, full rotation all the way around, a rotation on the bicep, bend in the elbow, and a rotation and hinge in the hand. When it comes to his very scary ab crunch, it's gone, but in its place, you've got the waist swivel. Forward and back motion on the legs, a bend at the knee, a swivel on the boot, and a hinge in the feet. I have to often wonder when I look at these WWE zombies, 
whether people collecting these, let's say kids, let's go back to the kids, whether the kids collecting these would actually wrestle with the zombies. What storylines do you think that they would come up with? The zombies have now taken over the WWE in the way of perhaps like an NWO invasion angle, and maybe the regular unzombified wrestlers have to wrestle them. Realistic realism aside, okay, maybe that could work as a storyline, but I don't think as a as a wrestler. I don't care if I need the job. I don't know if I would necessarily be stepping into the ring with a zombie, someone that not only is going to perhaps botch a hold and botch a move, but could potentially eat me as well. I think I might be one to just kind of say, ah, I'll, I'll stay as a jobber. I don't need to wrestle The Rock. No, it's quite all right. Hey, are you sure? Because this could be a main event option at WrestleMania. No, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. I just don't like having my flesh ripped off in the middle of tens of thousands of audience watching. These are good figures, though. I like these. I like the fact that they have the additional sculpt. It didn't seem like Mattel skimped on these. What they're geared towards, other than zombie fans, I don't know if the kids are going to be picking these up, and I certainly don't know if they're going to be wrestling with them. But if you are a child out there on YouTube land, and you have picked these up, and you do wrestle with these, tell me the stories down below. What kind of angles would you have? The Rock has come back from a video shoot, and along the way, Budget was tight, so they just used real zombies, and Rock ended up getting bitten by a zombie, and now he's come back to the ring to fight John Cena. Oh, wait, no, John Cena's already a zombie. So it's John Cena and the Rock as zombies fighting perhaps New Day? I don't know. But let me know down below. Did you pick these up for playing with them? Or did you just pick them up because you're a fan of zombies? Today's spooky spot. Spot was still joined by Socrates. Good boy, Socrates. Good boy. You didn't say anything during this review. Uh, as always, thanks for watching as you always do, and guys, and certainly stay tuned. Spot's going to have more spooky spots coming to you this month of Spottober. Thanks for watching. See you next time.